This is the first time I've used a webcam that can do crazy stuff like follow you around your studio and still look pretty good. It doesn't really look that much like a webcam. It's pretty awesome. And I've kind of fallen in love, in love with it over the past week and I'm really surprised because I hated this one. This video is brought to you by CuriosityStream. Get access to my own streaming video site Nebula when you sign up for CuriosityStream, linked below. I'm Evil's Vox, the stream professor, and today we're looking at the Obsbot Tiny 4K. I previously reviewed the Obsbot Tiny webcam during an episode of AFK Chat. We tried it out live, put it through some paces, and it was bad. Even after a firmware upgrade and manually configuring settings, it still just looked terrible. Meanwhile, with some manual tweaking and some, some fighting, admittedly, with the camera settings, it this looks pretty good like it's acceptable it's a pretty darn good looking webcam and still follows you around i'm zooming in for dramatic effect to let you know that this review would not be possible without the wonderful contributions of a good buddy of mine named ad wheeler who runs the ad 3d etsy site that has awesome stream deck mounts i talk about all the time to allow you to mount your stream deck and your surfaces wherever you like they also have a uh, pc panel mount as well go check them out link in the description below this is actually his camera i'm sending it back to him after i'm done reviewing it i, I want like four of these for my studio super shouts out to him for actually getting this to me zoom back out now if you never heard of obsbot it is a webcam company that makes these weird tiny little PTZ cameras. PTZ stands for pan, tilt, zoom. It means it can zoom in on you, it can tilt around, it can move around, it can follow you and all sorts of stuff. And they've baked it in with AI facial recognition to basically train it on human faces and make sure that it can follow you around, whether you're doing presentations or meetings or whatever, or you're just moving around your studio and you want a camera that's gonna go with you. It's actually pretty cool. Especially as someone who, despite the fact that I don't do it much in my reviews, likes to move around during my streams. I like having that option. This particular camera can output 4K at 30 FPS or 1080p at 60 FPS. Meanwhile, the previous model only did 1080p up to 30 FPS, and that was it. I will have a separately uploaded 1080p 60 FPS sample on my second channel linked below for you to check out. This is all going to be recorded in 4K 30. The camera doesn't have to AI track you. If I tap to unlock, then I can just come over here and manually pan, tilt, and zoom this camera and get it just kind of gimbaled over here to move however and wherever I would like to get the exact perfect angle or what have you so I can get everything figured out and then I can I can zoom in. Hello there. I can zoom out. And there's even preset, like you can set up a whole bunch of different presets as far as where your camera actually goes. So I can hit one hotkey and center it back up in my normal talking headshot. I can hit another hotkey Oh my god! This was framed up differently before, but ah! So then you could map that to say like a stream deck and immediately have yourself kind of jump in here. You don't have the option to turn off the zooming in between, so you don't get that instant like jump cut. But I mean, it has to adjust itself, so of course you don't. It's also got gestures, if you like that kind of thing, which I think are absolutely goofy and tried them out during my original kind of coverage of the first one and didn't like it too much, but you can set up something like this and it will start zooming in on you. But of course, it's mostly lost my face. I can set this back out and it will start zooming out, I believe. There we go. So it's kind of cool that you can control it if you need to, like if you're doing a presentation, if you want to throw up the L's, call someone a loser, you have that option available to you. You also get to lock it on your face. So if I hold it up like this, it's gonna beep and now it's gonna follow my face, whereas it didn't before. And then if I hold this up again, it's gonna stop following my face. And now I can move over here and it's gonna leave me alone. And then I can say, hey, I'm over here now follow me my eyes are up here that kind of thing and we're good to go I love it I, I again I think it's a little goofy because for most professional or whatever scenarios throwing up a bunch of gang signs to your camera is maybe not the best way to present yourself compared to like a producer or something offhand or like the stream deck pedal we just reviewed but it's pretty sick. The biggest downside to the camera to me is the encoding modes. It still seems to be using USB 2.0 even, even though it has a Type-C connector. So we only get MJPEG and H.264. And whenever I tried using H.264, it was a bad time. It was coming in super glitchy. I'm using MJPEG now. We're gonna switch to H.264. Now it's more delayed. And at least when I was originally testing it, it kept getting all, yeah, we get like some weird pixel smoothing because the H.264 encoder on board cannot always keep up with the motion 
and that's kind of amusing. We're not getting it a whole bunch. The first time I tested it, it was like awful, but the video is significantly delayed in H.264, and usually in H.264, that is the preferred mode for me for webcams, so that ain't great. We're gonna switch back now. Editing Epos coming in here with just a couple quick thoughts. I know it sounds like this kind of thing is a huge gimmick, and if you think so, that's totally fine. Like, it's not my job to sell you on this. I just wanted to share something I was excited about, but I did want to share an example Right now you're watching the original test footage I shot when I first set up this webcam and I think color wise it actually looks better than most of the A roll for this video. It looks really solid color wise. I don't know why I couldn't get it back to that point but that's the fickle nature of webcams. But if you want a more like I guess example of the production value that can be added with a camera like this check out my unboxing of the Lewitt LCT 1040 up on stream guides I'm showing some footage of it now it's a little goofy and again it's not the best quality video but just having this kind of camera tracking me around and moving with me is kind of like having a cameraman without needing a cameraman and it gives you that extra like upgrade in production value just by nature of having a more dynamic camera angle so it's a lot of fun again you are trading significant image quality degradation depending on your budget but in many cases it's definitely worth considering so much of the tech that we cover here on this channel and even the video platform you might be watching it on is driven by algorithms ai algorithms to recognize a face to track in a camera algorithms to lead you to watching this very video in the first place but algorithms actually impact nearly every aspect of our everyday life it's kind of wild just how everywhere algorithms are and the documentary secret rules of modern living algorithms on curiosity stream can help open your eyes on just how omnipresent algorithms can be curiosity stream is an entertainment powerhouse full of thousands of fascinating documentaries they care about quality content so much that they they formed a, a power duo with nebula my, the, the video streaming site that i built with my creator friends my videos are higher quality they are ad free and often extended from the youtube versions and it's not just my content up there either when you subscribe you not only get access to curiosity streams library of thousands of fascinating documentaries but you get access to my library of videos but you also get videos from everyone else up on nebula as well so we're talking low spec gamer thomas frank mkbhd all of us. For a limited time, you can actually save on this amazing bundle. Curiosity Stream is offering 26% off the annual plan, making it under just $15 per year for a year of awesome content uh, across two different platforms. Not just one, but two. Deals that good don't grow on trees. So head to curiositystream.com slash ebos for the best deal in streaming and get your popcorn ready. All right. We're back to good old MJPEG mode. For the price that you're paying for this thing, I would have loved to see uncompressed modes that are higher quality so you don't get quite as much artifacting and things like that, but hey, it's still pretty cool. Price-wise, the previous Obsbot Tiny, the 1080p model that is absolutely trash, cost 200 bucks. 200 bucks will get you a god-tier webcam in terms of webcams, be it the, the Razer, the Avermedia, the Elgato face cam, pretty much all of those can be had for 200 or less now, and if you jump up to 300, you can get the uh, Huddlecam HD Pro USB camera, which as I was showing on stream recently, is still a phenomenal camera. For this price, it's absurd. Do not buy it. I can't imagine it recommending anyone buy it, and I, I, I just bought it to test out, and I still want it for like a goofy angle, but it looks terrible, and it will always look terrible. The 4K model, on the other hand, costs you $70 more what seems on surface just a little bit of higher resolution that doesn't matter but what you're actually getting is competent ish controls that actually work for adjusting your exposure and things like that so you can actually get a usable image out of it and a much better camera as a result like this is phenomenal and it's a webcam so it'll work with all of your video all of your video calling apps and things like that you can have this cool ptz effect that will blow your colleagues away or your students or whatever i see this being useful if you do presentation streams or education streams or even just like streams like mine where I have this whole like glitch art setup that I want to show off and I want to be able to just kind of move around and talk about it. I'm, I'm gonna, it's, this is freaking cool. It's mind blowing guys. I can just move over here and start showing you what I'm talking about without having to set up a million different camera angles. It's awesome. It's just expensive. More and more, I'm coming across streamers who want to get up and you know, move around their stream to talk, to react to subs, to go draw things on a board. And even if it's not your main camera, having a micro or a microphone, ha, a, a webcam that allows you to do these things that allow you to be like, okay, come over here. I'm, I'm going to show you my wampus. I'm, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to write your name on my subboard. I'm going to come over here and get up real close so we can have a serious conversation 
more and more we're seeing streaming evolving to be more interactive and involved and being able to do this kind of thing and still being able to like sit back down and frame yourself up is incredible. So even if it's a secondary camera, a kind of angle like wide angle shot or like something you put down here up below, I think this could be a good addition to your repertoire if you can afford it because it's it's stupidly expensive. You can get used like real good cameras for this price. So it's a matter of the utility of the PTZ features versus wanting the best possible camera. And I can't make that decision for you, but I can say this thing is a hell of a lot of fun and I kind of want one at each of my setups as a secondary camera. Just remember, do not buy the original OBSBOT Tiny. This thing is a piece of trash. But if you are interested in gaining more control of your stream and you're making it to this part of the video, I'm thinking maybe this expensive webcam isn't for me. I do have an option that allows you to control your entire stream without using your hands. You're gonna wanna watch that right here. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, be kind, rewind.